Hey, it's Connor Rockwood at 61, and this Sunday, there's another pay-per-view coming to the network. It's Money in the Bank. New Day defends the tag team titles against the primetime players. Now, the primetime players had a great showing at Hell in the Cell, and initially I thought with Tyson Kidd hurt, let's mix things up a bit, give the titles to the PTP. However, New Day has got some serious heat. I think you keep that train rolling. They're gonna win over the primetime players this Sunday at Money in the Bank. In another title match, Ryback defends his newly won IC title against the Big Show. Now, I don't agree with Ryback being the Intercontinental Champion, but he is, so he needs to win on Sunday. He needs to destroy Big Show on Sunday, which is exactly what I think he's going to do. Then you've got your Money in the Bank ladder match. Dolph Ziggler, Neville, Roman Reigns, Randy Orton, Kofi Kingston, Sheamus, and Kane. Kofi Kingston and Neville are just there for the high spots. Sheamus, Randy Orton, you're not winning. Kane may tease a victory, but I don't expect him to get the briefcase. Dolph Ziggler still has a feud with Rusev, which leaves one man. The guy they wanted to be the face of the WWE since the Royal Rumble. Expect Roman Reigns to get the briefcase this Sunday. And maybe turn heel? John Cena takes on Kevin Owens for their second straight pay-per-view. Last pay-per-view, Kevin Owens shocked the universe getting a clean win over John Cena. I don't expect him to go 2-0. However, he is going to look like a badass. Look for John Cena to pick up the victory via DQ because of Kevin Owens just taking things a little too far. And finally, you've got Seth Rollins taking on Dean Ambrose in a ladder match for the heavyweight championship. This should be a great match, but you got a lot of outside elements potentially getting involved. The Authority, Kane, J&J Security, a rumored Roman Reigns heel turn. All could affect the outcome of this match. Regardless of who gets involved, I expect Seth Rollins to walk out the heavyweight championship. Now, you can't talk wrestling this week without talking the American Dream Dusty Rhodes passed away this week, a true legend of the business. When I first started watching wrestling as a kid, it was his feuds with Ric Flair that made me prefer the NWA over the WWE, a true legend of the business who will be missed.